Yo, what is going on guys here? This is x Man, and today I got for you a Clash of Clans tutorial. Whoop, whoop. It's been a while, I haven't done many Clash of Clans, but you will start seeing this more 2014, some more Clash of Clans, because I really like this game and enjoy playing it. So what we're going to be doing basically today is that I'm going to show you how to get a ton of resources. You can get up to 3 million resources in one hour if you really are if you're like really lucky and you're that much of a tryhard like me so uh i have actually gotten three million quite a few times it is it is very possible but yeah then again it was not it's kind of it's 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 out there your average is around two million resources so if you want two million gold you can get you can get that fairly easy with this strategy and as you can see it is the under 200 trophy farming strategy now not many people have gone at, have gone as in depth as I am about to go and I'm really going to explain to you guys how to do this strategy and optimize your your abilities to get things to get all these resources. So, what we're going to start off by doing is showing you guys how to drop trophies. And for you guys to drop trophies, that's a real deterrent because people don't want to spend an hour dropping their trophies down to below 200 trophies. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the 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 best method in order to drop your trophies extremely fast. So, I'll be right there with you guys. Alright guys, I'm back here and I'm going to show you now how to quickly drop your trophies. This is a pretty easy method. Um, it is hard, but you kind of have to have a little rhythm in order to do this, yet it is still really effective. Now I wanted to show you guys through a camera so you could see my fingers and all that good stuff and show you exactly how I do it and not explain totally through my voice so I'll give you a little bit of a visual representation. So what you're going to want to do is go over here. Uh, I'm already under 200 trophies. I just wanted to I can still show you how to do it uh, What you're going to do is get your two fingers, you know the ones you make bunny ears with and With your middle finger hold down next and with your other finger you want to quickly tap The screen so you deploy a troop, but you're gonna lift up at the same time So it next is it next while you deploy the troop. So here we go There it was right there as you can see I deployed the troop by next it now this is what it looks like when you don't get it right. It will deploy the troop already. Uh, it's just a timing thing. You got to get used to that timing. Just go ahead and quickly uh, just get back to your routine and go go to it. As you can see, I did drop trophies up there. I'll show you this one more time. Hopefully, I can get the timing down. And I did right there. Uh, it is really easy to do if you can kind of get in the rhythm. And uh, it's way easier than using two fingers because, as you can see, two fingers. It's a little more difficult because these two are connected. These aren't. You kind of have to do uh, a little bit more. So I try. I tend to use just my two bunny fingers. Uh, that's pretty. That's what I call them. Uh, that's basically how you do it. And let's go on to the actual strategy itself now. All right, guys. We are back now onto the screen recorder, so you can see a little bit higher quality. Now what we're going to do is show you how to attack and the raid strategies and what to be looking for when you're going for all this raid or farming at this level of trophies. First what you're going to want to do is queue up a ton, a ton of goblins. As many as you can, queue up as many. Even if it goes over your troop capacity, keep training them because when you deploy a lot of goblins, maybe finding a really good raid, uh, you're going to need as many as you can get and uh, it'll, they'll start queuing up right after you, you're done with your raid. So queue up as many as you can as many as you can hold uh, that's pretty much about all I have to say for that and what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you what you're gonna need to look for in a raid and how to raid specifically Now I have a few replays right over here in my attack log showing you a few of the uh, the raids you're gonna want to look for my motto is around 30,000 or less don't go for it if it's 30,000 or more or greater than 30,000 I definitely recommend going for it it'll be a lot more worth your while so go ahead for 30,000 or more and whatever resource you want go for it I'll show you a raid right here and show you the type of raids these are as you can see it is just basically a whole lot of nothing uh, the, the defenses are really bad he has a level one mortar level two walls and it is very easy to get in there I don't think I deployed but like 30 or some odd troops um, these are really easy to queue up and get ready to go uh, and then I went straight for the uh, the gold collect the gold storage is right there so I'm kind of kind of stupid right now I don't even know what I'm talking about I'm just kidding uh, so as you can see that was a pretty successful raid I'll speed it up right here deployed 65 uh, goblins that's a little much you don't want to really that's a little overkill right there but you still got the job done you got your 40,000 loot 
I can do that because I have 200 troops in personally but you might want to deploy just a little bit less we're gonna go ahead go into the next attack log for this guy named Yanuv uh, hey dude you're on a, you're on a, uh, a YouTube video for the wrong reason so what I did is I actually saw this guy try to you can see these guys are real noobs because they're trying to cover the things up with like buildings or whatever and all you have to do is just deploy some troops they didn't have to go through any walls and it was a quick and easy 40,000 now you can do this up to five times per you can do this pretty much once a minute getting these uh, 40,000 raids I quickly ended it right there because that's all I need to get got the 40,000 uh, one of the big keys it only took 23 troops by the way uh, one of the big keys you're going to want to watch out for when you're going for these kind of raids is don't go over 40% because you give them a shield. And uh, you're like, why do you give them a shield? Why does that matter? I do that all the time. This is why it matters because extremely the exact next raid, I found that the exact same guy and did the exact same thing to him. As you can see right here, same exact raid. I'm going to speed this one up four times. I got the exact same raid, got in and out, and uh, I expanded 21 troops so I, in total I got around 70,000 gold in less than two minutes so that's pretty awesome and you can keep doing this this is why it's so awesome you, you might come across that one 100,000 raid with no storages or no defenses but uh, these are the main ones you want to go for these 30,000 uh, gold or elixir raids these are pretty easy to get I'm gonna go ahead and train up my troops and I'll give you a little example of what I can do um, certain times of the day you're going to want to go for these raids. Uh, at night it's really, as you get later in the night it becomes a lot harder because a lot more people get on and they start raiding these guys right here. So I'm about midday right now so it's going to be a little more difficult for me to find a raid. Hopefully I'll be able to find one pretty soon for you guys. This one's a borderline run, borderline one, I've come across it once or twice. Uh, if it's borderline and you haven't seen anything in a while, I'd suggest going for it, but if not then just keep keep cool I'm going for gold in particular because I am waiting to upgrade my walls probably a lot of you're gonna be going for gold it's a lot easier to do elixir here's one right here that is pretty easy to get uh, we're gonna try to find a easy spot to go to um, how are we gonna go into plan of attack I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna deploy some right about here yeah that should be pretty good. It is in both their storages. I'm going to deploy some up here so they get that down low area. That should be maybe a little less than enough. We'll deploy about five more, five or six more, and see if we can really get that. Yeah, so we got that pretty easy. In and out. Go ahead, got that. Easy 35,000. Deployed way too many troops, but uh, that's just me. I usually tend to overdo it. Um, as you can see, we already have quite a few troops that got trained, about 9 or so. So we can go ahead, go right back into the action, and raid once again. That's the thing about this, you can keep raiding and stay on Clash of Clans for quite a long time. Let's see if we can find something and get lucky once again. These little raids are what make you, you know, sometimes I'll come across one that is like 200,000, but uh, that is very far and in between. That is a really lucky raid, but they do occur, guys. 40,000, no storages or anything like that. Here's another kind of easy one. You're going to want to actually deploy, I don't know. There's a lot of guy. There's a wizard tower right there, but he's only a level one, so I think my, my troops can handle it. Oh, wrong way, guys. Wrong way. All right, I didn't see that right there. I'm just going to deploy quite a few. Hopefully, they don't totally destroy my guys. I think I am going to lose this one. This is one of those ones where you just might as well go all in because, hey, we have troops on the womb. You're ready to go. And I think right now I'm getting destroyed. I am. I'm getting destroyed pretty bad. Yeah, this is one of those fail raids where it's just like, yeah, let's stop. Still, either way, I did pretty decent, I guess. I think I got some. Yeah, 24,000. That's not really that bad. Uh, when you see an upgraded mortar, I totally forgot to tell you guys that when you see an upgraded mortar go ahead and skip that one because he can really do some damage to you now I gotta wait about you know five ten minutes and then I can raid again because I have about a hundred more goblins so that is basically the strategy gets you a ton of gold as you guys see I think it was at 400,000 when this first when this first started and I did a couple raids took me about five six minutes in total to do all the raids and I got 200,000 uh, gold right here. I can quickly upgrade these walls. Whoop, whoop. 
I can upgrade three walls, that's pretty freaking awesome. Very happy about that, and um, that's just one more to my into Town Hall 8 and farming. So this is the best farming strategy, guys. Um, you don't have to worry about defenses or anyone raiding the poop out of you because you're such a low farming tro trophy level. And they're all doing the same thing. And that's all pretty much. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy these Clash of Clans videos, come subscribe. I'll be doing at least two every week, and you guys should enjoy it. I do a lot of Minecraft stuff. That's about it. Any suggestions? I'll see you guys next time. Later!